What's up, y'all? Welcome. Today I'm going to be making a giant sandworm. So I totally changed my mind on how this dungeon should be. And uh, it's I want to make it have a sandy floor so I can have tons of enemies that can burrow up from the ground. So it'll be kind of like no other dungeon because there are no other dungeons like this. So this is kind of a unique opportunity. And also, having a giant sandworm for an enemy has always been something that just... I would love to do. So, anyways, I changed my mind. I'm not going to do an alien tongue thing. I'm going to do a giant sandworm. What's up, T? Um, I think it's made this room dark. I'm going to make that not dark. Dark rooms. Dark rooms are world CPP. How you doing, T? Okay, so dark rooms can't be boss rooms. Oh, cool. Nice. You're fine. I'm fine, too. Yeah, it's a fine day. Having a fine day here. Things are well. All right, that's better. But we're gonna need a lot of room for this boss. So I'm gonna go to the pattern flags. Hell, we might as well start with the player right in that room and put the pattern flags, constants. All right, so pattern flags for boss. This is boss style five. Pattern flag. Min wall thickness. Yeah, we need as much room as we can get for this giant sandworm. What? 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 Oh, maybe that was the min wall thickness. Oh, yeah. Baseball cap today. Yep. Um, might be this wall thickness. If I put this at one. What's up, Enko? Yeah, sandworm. Oh, that was it. Okay, it just needed to be... That's kind of cool anyways. Let's see. With the... Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's it's definitely pretty neat having... I don't know. I did kind of like it with the more... Yeah, I liked it more like that. Uh, I think I'm going to change the meaning of min wall thickness. So when we have min wall thickness, it just means that, um, or at least for the boss room, it means that it's really truly min wall thickness, not like uh I know I did this already for the goal room or some other room. Wall thickness. This has got to be world CPP. Uh, might be wall thickness range. No. Might be area setup. No. Uh, 
Is it the goal room? I think it is the goal room. Where I have his true minimum. Oh no, that's that has its own. All right, I'll figure that out later. Minor detail. Okay, so I really want to get this guy started. Um, I'm going to start with the acid boss. I already set this up yesterday, but I've totally changed my mind. So I can get rid of this all these children. It's going to be a much easier boss to create than the the tongue. <laughs> that would have been really hard. Anyways. Um, Besides, this is going to be way more exciting to have a giant worm that comes up from the ground and surprises you and comes back down and can shoot all this like acid stuff on you. It's going to be crazy cool. Snake Spear. All right, so I'm going to copy the behavior from Snake Spear. I think I was only using these. Oh, no, I used that. I don't need that. Those three behaviors. Oh, we want the initial loop, though. Timer begin, timer zero, target hero. Let's choose if target none, target hero. Oh, we need a set of vector. Actually, we'll just do it this way. The way it was already. And there's then, wait, wait, wait. What did, there was something I wanted to copy from the Ice Boss. Ice Boss has this um, Z order split. That's right, Z order split. I think that'll make him so the bottom half of this boss could be below ground, which would be really excellent. Oh, Teak, yeah, no problem, man. Go ahead and raffle for him. There's no need for him to get into the stream to do that. Yeah, man, raffle it away. Give him the key. It's your key, dude. You can do whatever you want with it. Uh-huh. Um, I think it might need vector movement. Yeah, vector movement. Oh yeah, no, it's totally cool. Yeah, you can raffle as many times as you want. Huh. Oh, in Create AI, there was something special for the snake spear. What? I thought there was. Ah, here it is. Yeah, that's what I'm working on, man. He's going to start underground. Yeah. 
He's starting underground, and then he comes up initially and goes, flies through the middle of the screen, and then he goes off screen up top, and then he comes back down. He can go up and down, but then he can also do this one thing where his head can come down, and she like spits all this uh, acid on the ground that hurts you if you touch the acid. This was critical right here, starting him at a Z that's really low. Ah, uh, is Bafu not here? Oh no, he's here. Yes, Acid Boss. Yep. Turn Boss 5. Style car five. We need that negative Z. You dislike the dungeon for dot damage types? For dot damage? What do you mean dot damage? Okay, it is doing this. Is this the right Z? Mm. Yeah, one, three, six. Oh, damage over time. Oh. So you're saying you don't like dungeons where there's damage over time. Okay, he must just be doing... Oh. Oh, uh, because they're hard, yeah. What the heck is he doing? Oh, there. Okay, I can't tell what a Z is. Oh, he did? Ah, oh, yeah, you just tried it twice. Shazzle, man. Oh. Well, um. Yeah, yeah, what? <clears throat> Z, I want to show the Z. Oh, there you go. Nice. Yay, congrats. Congrats. Right on. What's up? How you been? Rindy. Rind? Rindui. Rinduim. So anyway, you, gotta, you just got to email me. Any, either of you guys can email me. No worries.
Just send me an email at Nat at WizardFu, and I will send you the Steam key after the stream. Congrats, congrats. Right on. Hey, hey, I'm really excited to make the game awesome for you guys. I know you guys are both speedrunning the game together. And also, there's a lot of new improvements to Jib since this week. Oh, oh, you just logged in with his account too? Oh, all right, yeah. Well, I'll tell you anyways, Teak, like there's Jib, you can, Jib can pick up items now. So Jib can pick up diamonds and Jib can pick up keys. And uh, Jib starts a little faster. He moves a little quicker when you're, um, when you're player two. And he, um, he can scan faster if you hold down the button. And, um, and he doesn't get stuck behind doors anymore. So, a lot of improvements to Jib, and I'm going to keep on improving him because I finally played as Jib, and so it's really cool to, like, you know, um, make that more fun for player two. So, we'll go with setting a floating point for the entity Z. Yeah, totally. He can. Yeah. So it'll totally make your speed runs a lot better, right? So you can pick up diamonds and you can pick up keys, but yes, you can, you cannot pick up health. That's only for the player because it's, you know, health really only has to do with the player. So anyways, yeah, but, and, and I'll make it so he can pick up other, maybe other items too. It depends. You know, it depends on, on whether, whether it makes sense if Jib could pick that up. But keys are really great to be able, for him to be able to pick up. And diamonds, all kinds of diamonds. You can pick all those up. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, it definitely would be, yeah, it would totally be OP if he could pick up health. Yeah. So. Yeah, right? The diamond thing's huge because it gives, it gives Jib another... If you're playing as Jib, it kind of gives you another responsibility. You know, you got one more thing you can do. Oh, what's up, Alex Pita? Yo. Ciao. Belzio. We're just chatting about Jib. Yeah, so yeah. Um, yeah, and when you're playing as Jib, you scan, a, you scan an enemy... And then if a diamond pops up, you can immediately pick that up instead of having the player have to, or have the hero rock have to come over and pick up the diamond after you scan it, you know, so it'll be way better for speedrunners and for, um, for teams of local co-op play, you know? Yeah, it's been so long. How have you been, Alex Pita? <laughs> How is everything? Well, I hope you've been good, man. Hope you've been good. I'm working on a this boss here. Oh, see, look at that. He did have a position Z, and then he just... That was weird. Uh... Nice. Right on. I'm glad. Yeah, it's so it's I'm starting to see it too. Actually, I only really see the game's evolution if I look back, you know, and I look back like 6 months ago and I go, "Whoa, things have really changed since then." But yeah, things are getting crazy cool, right? This um this sandy dungeon here is kind of neat. Nice, right on Teak. So there's dark rooms now. Oh, all the enemies have numbers above their heads. There's puzzles.
Yeah, right? There's open walls. There's these cool bridges here. This is a pretty sweet bridge. These little mooring tiles come up from the water. Yeah, thanks, Teague. Yeah, so there's a lot. Man, it's getting better and better every day. Lots of new bosses and stuff. But yeah, so anyways, I'm working on a giant worm boss today. So this giant worm will come up from the sand and he'll, he'll fly up through the air and he can come down too. Right on, cool, yeah. Yeah, the graphics are getting better too. Yo, what's up, Yame? How's it go, Yame? I remember your name, Yame. So what is causing his, his Z position to do that? He like immediately goes, bloom. He's just, it's, oh, does he have no gravity? Oh, he has no gra he needs to have no gravity. That's what it is. Okay. So the snake spear has the move flag, no gravity. We need the new move flag, no gravity for sure. Don't necessarily need pathfinding though. There we go. Nice. Now he's like, oh, sweet. It worked. <laughs> what the hell's going on, though? Oh, uh, so he went up in the air, but the, oh, the algorithm I got for doing. Um, that's awesome. That worked that fast. Right on. Comment out this whole deep. Wait, wait, wait. I need to keep that in for a minute. You working on textures, too? Sweet Teak, those looking good. I think I remember you showing me one of those textures before, but excellent work, man. Excellent work. Like uh like I said before, I really think you got a good style going there for the um uh for the 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 saturation and the brightness levels for your background tiles like that. They look really good. And good textures and everything too. Compare that to the old textures. Let's see. Open, open. Why is it not opening? Oh, I can't click on that other link. It's not a link. Eh. Okay, so when it's the Z split, no, that's all in render component. It's like set rex. Ah, oh, there you go. Oh, yeah, totally compared to the old textures. Good job. Yeah. Definite a huge improvement there. Right on. Thumbs up, buddy. All right, so I noticed something went really wrong when the entity's position. was like getting high, it's <laughs> getting high. There, so I'll set a breakpoint and figure out what's going on there. Yes, you suddenly figured out how to do pixel art. Woo, right? I had that moment too, where I was like, oh, I, I get it. And really it's it's only just, it comes from just doing enough of it, you know? You do enough pixel art and you're like, I get it. I can do pixel art. I can do this. Just take some time. You got to keep practicing and stuff.
Okay, it seems kind of obvious what's what's going wrong here. Highlight the word seems. Come on. Oh, your Z. Oh, your Z's wrong. How many went? Oh, damn it. Okay, so it is ab abs, but like. Um. No, it's negative. Clamp F zero. So he should be invisible below ground, and as he starts to come above ground, you see part of him, and then as he gets way above ground, he's just like. Totally visible. Good, good, good. He's totally visible, but what's up with that? Why is he not up in the air? Get up in the air, man! Go up in the air! Damn you! Whoops. Okay, I'm getting this this guy opened up in this data view thing. I'll open up the acid boss. I will also open up the snake spear. It's kind of this is modeled after. That should be enough. And saves that text on the end of it all. How is everybody doing? How is everybody doing? Eh, what's up? What y'all doing? Lurking, lurking, just lurking, man. It's cool. You can keep lurking all you want. Lurk away. Oh, that's a snake spear. Which what was that? I want to copy again. Oh yeah, the snake spear has a different way of doing its Z. It has this auto Z layer thing. And then it, no, it doesn't do a split. But maybe just auto Z layer is enough. Yeah, I think that kind of worked. Well, except for except for the Z. Auto Z layer, huh? That was what it what it needed. Auto Z layer does. Auto Z, Auto Z, Auto Z. Z. Here, this has got to be it. It's not it. It's changing his. This isn't it.
But you know what? It's enough to see to visually see what's going on. So I can start drawing this guy. Got to keep the progress progressing. All right, so this guy's going to come up from the ground. That is enough for me to know that this can work. I can get it so it's going to be fine where he can kind of duck beneath the ground and come up from the ground, even though the position is kind of wavering there. He's like, it looks visually like he's, it's all weird, but it's not actually. So I, it's enough anyways to draw. So sandworm time. Pixel art time. Yay! Mm. I'm not here. Uh, how does the pattern look for the bosses? Like, does they change their behavior after like 50% health? It depends. Yeah, it depends on the boss. Some of them do. Yeah, the uh, um, the Roz mini boss changes his behavior after 50% health. Lasorium, the giant, the giant um, uh, dragon dinosaur thing. He, uh, she, changes her behavior after 50% health. The blob boss as well. The blob boss totally changes when it it changes into different enemies when it's at half health. <laughs> You're counting the spots on your jaguar. <laughs> That's awesome. I don't even know what that means. One hundred twenty-eight. I'm thinking this guy might be like two forty tall. Okay, so once again, I'm going to draw some really rough stuff here, but just to get an idea. Looks like a giant dookie. Okay, so once again, I'm drawing some really rough pixel art. This is not at all meant to be, uh, you know, actually what will end up in the game. I'm just trying to see what how big this guy should be. I'm dialing in his proportions. Bosses, foes, foes. All right, so this is the acid boss. Giant sandworm. But renders to sheets, backgrounds, acid, well, let's call this acid boss. Zero for now.
Sweet. Now, should be able to just do that. Still pretty, you like it? Nice. Okay, something's really wrong. Oh, it was totally underground. <laughs> Gotta flip it Y. So it's kind of working like for part of it. Okay, I gotta do a little code now so I can get this kind of working proper. So, like, cause I wait, is that the right size? I think this worm is about the right size. Oh, I missed it. Oh, it's like way too small. Okay, so it needs to be like bigger, way bigger. We're talking like at least that big. X and Y, so that's width 38, height 32. And much, like way tall. Like this thing is how tall? Like at least like that. Oh, it's huge. 150. Man, so there's lots of things to do to make this guy awesome. I was just gonna be like, uh, I should just set a little direction here so we can move on the X and the move. But I think that would that would make it messed up. Maybe just when he goes down and goes dirt ran. I think this is gonna mess up his vectors. He's never going to come back down. Oh, he's coming back. Why aren't you moving, though? Oh, he's probably not moving because he has vector movement anyways. Yeah. Behavior vector. Oh, good, I have Rand. Nice. Yes, Henko, yeah, definitely. He's going to do that. I got to work on the basics first, though. Diablo 3 worm movement, huh? The plan I've had is is he, he comes up randomly from different positions, right? He comes up, 
And then once he's all the way up in the sky, he, he'd randomly change his position again and he comes back down. And um, sometimes he can come down and his head just appears and he can spits all this acid stuff on the ground. And if you touch that stuff on the ground, you, you get hurt. So, and then he'll also have a lot of different like Zurub enemies, burrowing type enemies that come up that he can spawn or she can spawn. Vector. Oh, Vex set. There we go. So I'm, what I'm doing now is I'm making it so I could do this. Like what I want to do is set. I want this to be rand rand. Rand rand. Rand rand. So your feet on size is greater than or equal to. One and V zero is Rand. Feed AI to vec dot x equals D Rand diff. Now, if feet size is greater than or equal to 2, and the second parameter is rand, then y is all randed out. And feet out size. Actually, just do that. That's simpler. Okay, so if it's greater than or equal to three, this, this third one is random, then the Z is random. So now we can have random, random positions, random vectors. Okay, so Sturval, this one is rand rand one. So e dot ai vec nice, and then this y should be random too. Yep. And we're not randomizing the last one. Sweet. It worked. So this will make him be able, it should be make him be able to move. Yeah, there. <laughs> What's he doing over there though? What are you doing, man?
think I got the wrong move mask. I think I should do the same move mask as the Zerub. Oh yeah, just default move mask. Default. And his speed on the X and Y should definitely be slower than he can move on the Z. Oh, because he got above everything. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, now he's starting to come back. He's got a random vector. So the problem is he's going actually underneath the pillars there, and that's why he can move around beyond them. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's, that's just making it all kind of horrible. Okay, so the first thing to do is to work on the Z ordering issue because I, but once I I can't I can't really do anything else visually until I get the Z order to look right. All right, Yame, good night, man. So I'm gonna go back to the old graphic of the snake spear. Now, if you didn't have the Z layer, does that funkiness. Which makes sense for Aha. Uh I think he was still trying to do the Z split, even though the entity's position Z was way high. So he should be able to come out of the ground now and go up into the sky. Yes, nice. Sweet. It's going into the ground properly now, so I can go back to. 
I don't need this. <laughs> oh, he's so tall that he was partially above ground to start with. Whoa, his wife. Huh. He needs more health, that's for sure. What do the bosses typically have these days? Osorium. Okay, so going back to, where was it? Here it is, create AI. This should not, this should be bigger than negative 160 because dang, she is tall. Cold 240, so it should be at least negative 240. And she should be able to go down. Yeah. This is good. Yeah, there we go. Nice, the Z is even right. That can't have a shadow though, that shadow looks really weird. No need for a reflection either. There's no, nothing to reflect off of. Unless there were water, but no, there's not going to be water. Yeah, looking better. Nice! It even kind of lined up with, uh... About how big it is. Cool. Alright, next thing I want to do is be able to flip it over... On the Y. Behavior... Is there a behavior flip? Nope. There's no flip. But it's kind of like... Uh, I guess it's, I don't know. Okay, behavior flip. And the AI system will have a behavior that can flip it over whenever it. Oh, it's visible. Visible is what the thing I was thinking of. Similar to how vis visible works. Visible just all it does is set the sprite's visibility. Flip just sets the sprite's flippiness. So if subtype 
equals k behavior x. Then e I rendered sprite. Set flip x. If float val two I think is greater than zero or yeah greater than zero. Okay, so the acid boss when it goes upward, we set flip y zero. And downward, we go flip y one. And we'll set some breakpoints to make sure that all happens. I'm going to go like this, make sure it recompiles that file. Never know with Xcode sometimes. It's like, I don't feel like, I don't feel like compiling that file right now. Probably because I was indexing while you saved it last or something. Run, 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 go. Flip him over when he's up in the sky. Yes. Subtypes 180, which is Y. Good. What's float val 2? Oops, it's float val 1. Oops. Okay, so yeah, 0 would have been the top. Okay, yeah, so float val 1. Nice. Not nice. <laughs> oh, I never planned for that. So render component. The um, when it sets the rectangle and stuff like that for for a split sprite, it needs to be conscious of the sprite possibly having its Y flipped over. Yo, what's up, Zylos? How's it going? I think it's right here. If E dot render dot sprite. Not been too bad. All right, cool. Things are going great here. Yeah, super super great. Making lots of progress on this video game. Loving what I do. I love making song rear. It's my this is my favorite game I've ever made.
So I think it's just like that. Like this is the normal. The normal not flipped Y. And this is the flipped Y. Okay, that's a total guess there. I don't know if that's right. I'm just changing the origin, but it might be right. So what we saw last time was the worm came out of the ground, right? But then when he went back down into the ground, he looked wrong. So I'm trying to fix that, that bit where he looks wrong going into the ground. Yes, he's still just eating up the, he's like, <laughs> Still looks good come out of it, yeah. So I didn't get that math right. Uh, it should have. I wonder if we even get there. Yeah, okay, it does get there. Okay, my intuition says don't change the origin Y. And but do change R dot size dot height. Subtracting out the split. Come on, intuition. Tell me it's right. Tell me I don't have to spend a half an hour trying to figure this out. Damn. Same thing. I don't get it. It's like changing that doesn't change anything. Ah, well, it's not that important. I can figure this out later. Later, man. Okay, so the next thing I want this, this guy to do overall is to jump to different positions. So when he's way up in the sky or he's down below, he can jump to a certain point that's, so he, he looks, it appears like he's going way high in the air and then coming and then moving a lot and then coming back down. The same thing when he's below ground. So I need to create some named places. I've already got ones where it's like I create open water. Uh, I'll look, I'll create some more places called open ground. Look for open ground. Yeah, so y is greater than four, x mod two equals one, y mod two equals one. Are all tiles, k tiles, open? Non invalid pod bridges, I guess so. Entities push back. 
Let's put some put a little color where that is. So look we'll all this open ground. So we should see some dots on the ground now, some red dots wherever there's open ground. Yeah. Yeah, you're welcome, man. This looks this looks good, actually. Except for that weirdness. Uh, okay, so um, I just want him to jump. Um, so kind of like how the ice dragons, they do a jump. called jump sky edge so he'll jump whenever he's down below we'll go jump to open ground and same thing if he's down below So he started in the middle. Oh, he didn't jump. Why don't you jump? You are not jumping. I guess I'll set a breakpoint in yeah, system behavior jump. Awesome. Welcome back. So when he comes back down, he didn't jump. Oh, he just didn't even, he didn't even get that to that piece of code. Well, this is starting to explain something. Num values is greater than zero. Jump open ground. What's wrong with that? What? Should at least be calling the jump command. Oh, don't jump if we already have Z velocity? Screw you, that's not right. Now that's only if we're doing This kind of jump. There we go. Hmm. Oh, I jumped wrong. All 
All right, what's float val one zero? So we're gonna get in here. Yeah, it should only be x and y. Okay, I'm watching where he is. He starts in the middle. Now we should warp to one of those red dots when he gets all the way up high. Good. There, he warped to that one that time. And we got this weirdness going on here. I'll figure that out later. All right, cool. He came up that time over there. It's working. Cool. He's starting to starting to do his warps, his jumps, right? Sweet. Gosh, if he just looked okay like right there, that would be so cool. Oh, it is Oh, the sprite is flipped Y. Uh... Yeah, I think the height needs to be the same. I still think he looks kind of like a giant dookie. Hey, wait. Was that that was better, huh? So the origin dot y. Yeah, plus equals split should be like that, right? No. Why does that not change anything?
Yeah, the split's going up. Okay, I was just wondering about that. Nice job, Jim. Oh, I'm thinking about it wrong. I'm thinking about it wrong. What's wrong with this? Oh, the textures are flipped on the Y in OpenGL. Which means that as the origin, the origin Y normally Is it minus equal split? Can't be right. No, what the, what the hell? Why did that not affect it? Doesn't matter what I do to origin, it's just like, Oh. <laughs> oh my god, this whole time I was editing the wrong code. Wow. It's like, why is it not doing anything? Because it wasn't doing anything. Yes! Oh, it worked! Holy crap. This guy has officially started now. Hell yeah. I mean, he looks really rudimentary and horrible and stuff, but... All I gotta do is add some, like, crumbling dirt which for when he comes out of the ground and then draw him really cool. And this is freaking, this boss has already started. Yeah. All right. Yes. So I'm going to get this code ready for check-in. Make those red dots disappear. AI system, I wrote some stuff that showed a Z position the whole time. Don't need that.
what else did I change here? Got the Acid Boss graphic sort of started. Save that. Get at all. Can't find my glasses. Oh, I'm wearing them. <laughs> This bit here could be clear. I know I'm gonna forget this in the future and stuff. And be like, oh, what the hell, blah, blah, blah. So I need to make that smarter here. Clear, not, not necessarily smarter, just clear. It's more readable, kind of like, oh, this is the acid boss. He has a custom position. It's this ah let's do that And let's make him, um, uh, I was going to do a, a ground rumble type thing, but I'll, that's easy enough to do later. Okay, so that should be clear. Just clear code. And I want to make sure I didn't break him. Nice. It's really cool when an enemy starts to become playable. Oh, he, he, he ate through the pillars. It's cool. Like, I don't care about eating pillars. I'll eat pillars all day long. I'm a giant sandworm. Yeah, got you. It looks weird when he died, but that's all right. It's definitely weird when he dies. Cool. All right, so that's it for today's stream. I got this acid boss started. Just gonna check in my code and call it good. Behavior flipped, acid boss's custom position, open ground positions, the flip behavior, that's cool, it can flip by X or flip Y in the code or in the data. Behavior trees, immediate warping smarter, can set random vectors, that wall thickness here, that's kind of a, 
I want to undo that before I check this in. That used to be three to four. I'm going to just make sure that's three to four there. And And all the behaviors that are not being used by the acid boss, I'm just going to delete all those. All right, let's see that again. Make sure I didn't break them just then. Yeah, the room's small, but. It's because I got to check it in this way. Okay, but yeah, he's fine. Wait, wait, I didn't see him go back in the ground. Cool. Okay, checking it in. Oh, wait, render, shadow, don't need those. Or reflection. Cool. This is um, it's way easier boss than the tongue. Acid boss, sort of playable. Nice. Okay, so cheers everybody. Have a great day. Um, hope you all have a good one. We'll see you next time.